Shalom, first and foremost, when you brought praises to your home, the wonders and two elders and apostles of great millstone, and Shalom to our brothers and more, they are pushing this word in sincerity and in truth, saying that believe Shalom. But you can't join Mr. Maker, and um, today we just want to touch on the topic of um, the second deliverance, you know, that's what we're waiting on. Right now, we're going to the Passover, we're going into the Passover soon. Is more where um, the Mosai destroy um the well these guys don't even destroy Egypt, ancient Egypt, and then come to the time right now where you're gonna um, destroy the current Egypt, which is um America, Mr. Bubble and the Great, where we serve slavery, according to the scriptures, and going to deliver in the lake is in the one hundred forty four thousand lake men of the nation of Israel, <coughs> which are you so called Negroes, Native Americans, the Spanish Latinos, and we're saying we scattered, is according to the scriptures, and within that process. The, um, the, the two third um, of the nation will be destroyed. A third, mm -hmm. with, um, based by also a third, right? Yes, yeah, um, third, third. Women, men, and, um, and children yeah. just the same. Yeah, we can just go straight to that. And my brother can just get it. Zechariah, yeah, with that. This is Zechariah chapter 13, verse 8. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. Can yeah, not continue. And I will bring the third part through the fire, and will refine them as silver is refined, and will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name, and I will hear them. I will say, it is my people, and they shall say, the Lord is my power. And even, um, when, when I think about it, the, the, the fire that the third will be, um, will be um, brought through is ultimately the, 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 the straight gate. Right, the straight and um and narrow path, um which involves all these prophecies. You know, the time of Jacob's trouble, World War Three, martial law, denying the RFID chip, famine, pestilence. You know, because ultimately, it's been it, in our sense, it's been um delivered from the wrath of Pharaoh, right? Just as how um ancient um in you know, ancient Egypt. We were being destroyed from the oppression and the wrath of Pharaoh. But there were um, things that we had to go through. We had to go through the wilderness. And we were also tried at the Lord um, at that time. But this time we'll be tried again through all the, the, um, all the calamities that are about to come upon the earth. Because how were we delivered and ultimately brought into the land? Through um, having faith in Yahweh, Bashem Yahushai, through um, the whole entire journey. Mm. Right? Is that right? Um, this is Isaiah chapter 10, um, chapter 11, verse 10. And in that day there shall be a root of Jesse, which, which, is, um, which is basically Yahawashai. Yahawashai is, um, is, is, the, is the root of Jesse, as you know, the prophecy concerning the, the, the king that shall come out of the, the, the line of David, which if you know anything about the, the lineage of David. Um, Jesse was um, a forefather of David, right? So that, that lineage, um, the salvation is coming through that line and that root of Jesse ultimately is Yahweh Shai. And then, uh, no, mm -hmm. I'm speak real quick. Um, this is um, my, um, Revelation chapter 22 and verse 16. Hi, Yahweh Shai, I've sent my angel to testify unto you these things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David and the bright and morning star. And I'm David, um, Jesse was the father of David. Correct. Right? So it's like right there and then you, you know who that, um, that priest of me is talking about. Read it again now. This is Isaiah chapter 11, verse 10. And in that day there shall be a root of Jesse which shall stand for an ensign of the people. To it the Gentiles seek. And if you look up the word inside in that um in that precept, it's going to tell you that it's a banner, right? And and, and what is the main banner at this time, you know? The doctrine, right? The, the hundred percent truth, right? From the twelve type from the twelve tribes sign to the um the name of Yahweh Shem Shai, right? To the prophecies ultimately because as you know scripture tell you that the spirit of Yahweh Shai, I'm sorry you can get that. Spirit of Yahweh is the spirit of prophecy. So ultimately, the second second coming of Yahweh would be ushered in 
by all these prophecies because if you look at ancient time even when um, Israel was in the land mm -hmm. then they were always looking for the sign of the Messiah that was what they were always looking to you watch um, the, 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 the series AD King, Kingdom and Empire right um, when, when they hear that Pilate, um, not Pilate, when they hear that Caligula they will put the, um, the, the statue in the temple and say this is the um, the abomination of desolation, and I must say that means that Yahweh Shai never returned at that time. Right? So they were always looking towards the prophecies and the things that were supposed to come to pass to usher in as the actual the second coming of Yahweh Shai. Even when him die and resurrect, you say, uh, Is it now when you will basically restore the kingdom unto Israel? Come. Let me get it in um, Acts chapter 1, verse 6. So the most, they, they, that was always what upon the mindset, yo, is in the second deliverance. Right, the king was setting up the kingdom of Israel, which is the kingdom of heaven. That was supposed to depend on our mindset, which is going to be in our time frame. Mm -hmm. Fun, isn't it? Mm -hmm. okay. Same on Revelation 19 and 10. Yeah. So this is Revelation 19 and 10. And I fell at his feet to worship him. And he said unto me, See thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Then worship God. For the testimony of Yahweh Shai is a spirit of prophecy. Exactly. And all of what we've seen right now, how we show that the second the second coming of Yahweh Shai is here, we, 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 we've been seeing the prophecies. Exactly. Hey, how much more um, the apostles of well, we've been looking at this thing for 20 plus years, right? You can you can see that it, hey, if it's not known then it's when you exactly. If it's not known it's when hey, the prophecies couldn't be any clearer. Exactly, and the scripture tells us your knowledge shall have learned in the last years, and right now the knowledge is abounding. What is the knowledge? The word of David's father, which the scripture tells us say, I come in the volume of the book. See, it speaks of me. So Yahweh Shah is basically here already, but in here in the spirit and guiding the elect. See, guiding the elect according um, to the word. See, so at the end of the day, it will become physical. Say, so after come in the physical form and deliver his people from this coming destruction, which is the um, elect of the nation of Israel. You understand? Mm -hmm. All right, back to Isaiah <clears throat> chapter 10, chapter 11, verse 10. Um, and in that day there shall be a root of Jesse, which shall stand for an ensign of the people. To it shall the Gentiles seek, and his rest shall be glorious. You know, just a confirmation, the Gentiles um, is dealing with the Israelite foreigners. Is which at one point we were Gentiles as well because um, as Peter said, as Paul said, you were Gentiles once in the flesh. Is it because whenever no were Israelite, who at one point think they are Jamaican um, or our so-called half African or black people, is it now we come to the understanding that we're actually Israelite. Huh. So we are the Gentiles, is it me, that should actually um, trust in the house shy, or we were to call Jesus Christ. And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall set his hand up again. The second time to recover the remnant of his people. Yeah, and the first time they were in um, what? Land of Egypt. Yeah. He's in my name. He said the first deliverance. And you know, everybody supposed to know the first deliverance, mm -hmm. which um, he said for the prophet um, Moses. He's in the part in the Red Sea, which is actually the Gulf of Suez. He's in our people um, basically um, led through the sea. And um, the, the, the troop of um, Pharaoh is in me. Right? But then was destroyed in the Red Sea. And we're in a second deliverance right now when we're in this captivity. As you say, we will be whole who are yet to stay in our captivity. And as you say, um, um, they that hold them captive refuse to let them go. Just mm -hmm. like our prayer will um, refuse to let go of us, yo. As you say, as you say, as you say, for um, um, in Re um, Romans chapter 9, you say, me, for this cause the most I raise of fear, say, my showing power in thee, yo, and the same thing set up the so called white man. Mm -hmm. And you say, me, which are actually Edomites, when they hold them, um, them all captive and refuse to let us go. So therefore we need a redeemer. You see, as um yes, the topic come up now with um the crackers, them Edomite so called white people. I try to say um Deuteronomy chapter twenty eight verse sixty eight, I said no man shall buy you. <laughs> is a mean so when I get sell, which mm -hmm. um the word buy actually go back to the word redeem. Mm -hmm. That's how you're free that free I see him. No man redeem us yo, because Abraham Lincoln didn't re um, redeem our free to slave, the word transformed emancipated. Transfer from one slave owner onto the next. And it's more a yet this year of captivity, as um, Baruch the prophet said. Oh. Which shall be left from Assyria, and from Egypt, and from Pathros, and from Cush, 
and from Elam, and from Shinar, and from Hamath, and from the islands of the sea. Yeah, and we are in the Caribbean, islands of the sea, as well as um, which, which fulfill the scripture, um, Deuteronomy, um, chapter 28 and verse 64. So which just, we shall be scattered among our nations. Um, so we get scattered all over, you know, and therefore uh, we are in captivity, therefore we need, we need that um, deliverance, you know, that salvation, which is the second deliverance, is which will be done by our Lord Yahweh Shai, which that is his name. Is me, he delivers, yeah, mean he and Yahweh Shai mean deliver or save. Is me, is a nomen woman, as the scripture says, um, Matthew chapter 1, verse um, 20, 20 or 21. Okay. He said, um, his name shall be called Yahweh Shai, which in the, we know him about in the transcript. Um, Jesus, but we know his true name is Yahweh Shai because what he shall save his people, right? Save us from this, um, this head holy. Exactly. Same as um, Zacharias, the father of um, John the Baptist, he prophesied when he see on the house shall born. He said, you say, you um, bless it, um, bless it, which we can get it, Lord, yeah. um, yeah. after yeah. it. You see me? Right, because um, we are getting delivered now. This is a sign. Because what in, in, in um, the book of, um, I believe it's um, the King of the Book of Russia, um, say, um, Isaiah 7, verse 14, it was a prophecy that was given. Well, I'm going to the, the, um, the Isaiah as well. He said, we'll just get um, the... No, no man, I want to say, um, he shall, um, yeah, yeah, that's the same one. This is Isaiah chapter 7, verse 14. Therefore, the Lord Himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel. Yeah, um, and the word virgin comes from the Hebrew, I, I, um, I lama, which means um, a woman of marginal age, right? The sign basically represent um, his, um, the moon side, the back with Israel. So much are you so-called Negroes, Native Americans, Spanish Latinos, means that we are getting delivered once more. Is him say how this is a sign, yo, right? And now already money well, I think it's I am Wahala. Is him I am Haim Yawahala or something like that, meaning the most as with us. Is him right? So he is back, he's giant back with us, yo, which is how is a mediator. Is him so the sign, um when when you can just get a rookie of Luca. Luke one sixty eight. Kind. You see, this is book of Luke one sixty eight. Blessed be the Lord. Um, Psalm 67. Yeah. Just gives um, like uh, Zacharias when he saw Yahweh Shai. Um, because Yahweh Shai came for um, the base of the thing was the circumcision in Kumba. Is he going to bless him? Go on. Alright, so this is the book of Luke 167. And his father Zacharias was filled with the Holy Ghost. Oh no, this, this was when um, Mary, um, when he realized that Mary was pregnant with Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. Right? Go on. And his father Zacharias was filled with the Holy Ghost and prophesied, saying, Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he had visited and redeemed his people. Yeah, it's the word by Bob. Isn't it because you should say, No man shall buy thee, because no. redeemer is Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Not, not a physical man, yo. Okay. But then the most I used to say, physical man like um, um, Joshua, Joshua um, whatever your name again, Samson, oh. is Mary David, who is a fight for Israel. But Israel no more. Judges. He judges, you see me? Mm -hmm. But no, the most I said, him, Son, how okay. shall is it me? Right, for the liver, the elect you, why not? See, and had raised up an heart of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. Yeah, exactly, the root and the offspring of David. And go on. And you see all these precepts basically are not virgin birth of God, but you can say, say yo, all these things are sure you say, yo, you know, shiny came from the, the lineage of um, David. Man. Yeah, yeah. See, literally sure it's a Joseph and Mary at six. Straight, is it for them who can receive it? Come now, we have the bold of Christians. Right, but. Yeah, you see me? So, verse 17 As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. Because it's prophecy, is it me? John, even Moses said it. Can. Is it me? And Moses raised up a prophet like unto himself, is it me? And he moved over here. Um, I think he said from among the amongst the Aboriginal. Yeah, yeah. yeah. From the tribe of Judah. Can. But, See, that we should be saved from our enemies. And that even cut the, the fact that um no fact is the opinion is merely the ideology of Eden's being saved. Kind of. Because scripture in um I um sorry in um Psalms either three it tell the enemy, which are the Eden sin, because the men of the nation sin. So we are going to be saved from oh, them because they have been in captivity, they're more oppressed right now. Referring to the so-called white man which are the um the Edomites. So called Chinese man, the Moabites, the so called Africans, which sell in the captivity, which are so called black people as well, is it, which are Hamites, so called um, um, Amalek, the chief, 
is in the Ikari scripture refer to Edom and it's a Hamadek is it because they want to the majority of the slave ships them but probably by Hamadek referring to the, um, the one of the chief tribe of the nation of Edom which are the so called Jewish people today is it me? they have the so called um, Ish, um, um, they call them Arabs which are actually Ishmael right? all of the nations them, Elam, one of them is it me? Right? we need to be safe from them because they are in the captivity up to this day and then I notice how it runs parallel with the um, captivity of the past because when we were in Egypt, we had enemies. When we came out of the land of Egypt, we had enemies. You know? So right through them time, they're coming up to know, coming up to this deliverance to the time when we'll get delivered from this captivity. It has shown us that you know, we have enemies, you know, and therefore needs be that the Holy Father needs to send a deliverer. And it's the reason why the scripture says um, in Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68, ye shall be sold unto your enemies, enemies for one man which were a slave man and slave woman and no man shall redeem you because the thing about it is um yeah um we, at this point in time we predominantly get found in the so-called white man and but you have to understand that it was a transatlantic slave trade you know the so-called white man and the history of how we got persecuted in the americas is very well documented we were transported to the poor corners of the earth um therefore and we were sold to Moab, we were sold to um to, to Elam, we were sold to Imam had um, um families of Ham had and us as um, Israelites in certain sectors and regions. So I mean all, all in all we were we were we were under bondage by all the, our iron bondage under all nations. It's just that the um the the, the, the records of, of Edom being the, the, the main Slave driver, so to speak, is is much more documented and it's also much more si significant in regards to prophecy. Quick precept for your question. Go on. This is Obadiah one and fifty. Yeah. Obadiah one and fifty. For the day of the Lord is near upon all the heathen, as thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. Thy reward shall return upon thine own head, showing thee that all the other nations in the have right. a hand in our hand. Yes. Uh, this is second first Maccabees chapter two verse nine. Her glorious vessels are carried away into captivity, her infants are slain in the streets, her young men with the sword of the enemy. What nation hath not had a part in her kingdom and Ooh. gotten of her spoils? Sorry, you know, that was in the time of um, the, um, the, the Syrian wars, you know, the fulfillment of the property of um, the, pro the prophecy of Daniel the eleven chapter. And, I, and if you look on the, um, the economic standpoint or the economic history of the time of the transatlantic slave trade, you can know that China um, benefited in regards to um, the gunpowder sales in quote unquote Africa, right? The weapon sale which you saw they also used to destabilize Africa, right? Plus the, um, the, the, the shores and the, um, of, of Tarshish, right? Basically, Spain and Portugal where um, the, 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 the ships docked at first, right? It, it, was, it was the trading, it was basically the, the transatlantic slave trade, the route was the, was, was the main trade route for the whole entire world at that time. Therefore, everybody would have a lot, our part, and would have benefited in some way, shape or form from that trade, some slave trade at the time. Yeah, quick point, um, even the, um the, I call it, the Industrial Revolution in England is in which basically techno, um, technology, um, what I call it already, so, um, basically, basically bring technology on a different level. Oh. Is, I mean, um, when that, advanced, right? yeah, exactly. The, the main funding for that year was slavery. Oh. Is, I mean, the capital for um, the Industrial Revolution in England was slavery. And all we look on the technology today, oh, every single nation benefit from that. Which one of them will say we have boycott um, the Industrial Revolution? Because this is built on blood money. Yeah, and um, even in, um, the, the English or the the, 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 the the empire at the time, the English Empire, the UK, United Kingdom, was um, had a major stronghold based upon the um, the, the sugar sugar imports and exports at the time. America get built at, and in the midst of that, America getting built at the same time. Cotton production. I mean. There's no two ways about it. Yeah, and then they rule America one way. Because when they, um, of course, yeah, they, they say, for instance, um, when the Spain come over here, so called Christopher Columbus, which is so called Jew, is a Edomite, 
um, in which they represent Spain and based upon the paper, paper bullism in um, any language, any country they discover allegedly, which not was um, basically Christianized them of the authority to basically take over the land. Is in the you have um, the, 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 the um, I think you have um, even um, I think when you go into uh, in Saint Mary or before you reach river, you have the um, bottom site when they tell us that the British basically war against the Spaniard. It's um, the reason why they set up um, even Port Royal, is in the middle of the fort and so forth. They basically defeat the Spaniards, which are the Spains, is when they take over, is in it. So um, them, the British Empire, is in it, when they take over, they mean slave us, you and basically push forward um, for Port po Royal, they were straight, they were straight, they want slave as well, is in it, which was us. Right, you so-called niggers, is it me? And all, all of that benefits trickle all the way down with the various systems and procedures down to now. And this is why we're still in our captivity. Uh, this is why we still need Yahweh Shai to come and, and, and have us delivered. This is why we even still have enemies. Because niggers, dumb niggers, we believe, say, yo, we don't we have no pressure. We don't have enemies, but we do have enemies, yo. Uh, is it me? Hey, you know what I'm saying? Let's finish this. Alright, go on. You know, you know, you can't just read it. So Isaac, so yeah, Luke one, I'm going to start back at um, verse 71, said that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us to perform the mercy promised to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant, the oath which he swore to, to our father Abraham that he would grant unto us that we being delivered out of the hand of our enemies might serve him without fear. Yeah, and that's right. basically the kingdom of heaven. Which um even Nebuchadnezzar is him and he then um got the vision and Daniel, which was an Israelite, um he is by the spirit of um the Hobo Shemushai, um got by the seal, um Jim William get is him and um, the interpretation thereof. And him um when he explained after say so at the end of the day these kingdoms are come up which are the Edomites, is much um when they read the book of um Zachariah, they read it as well. Is what at the end of the day you what the most I set up a kingdom is much the head the head would be a house and King yeah. David is in which um is representing the kingdom of Israel and then them will rule all of these Edens is in and control the governance of this earth. Because the word has, um the word the world, should I say, on the earth was made for we. Israel 6. Um, Israel 6. Are we supposed to do, um, dominate? The scripture said the world was made for our sake, while these Edens have um, dominion. Is in what scripture said the world was given to us as a wicked while because we transgress. Is in what knowing that we are returning to Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Ba Shem Shai, is in what we are delivering once more. Is in this is the second deliverance, which is the last deliverance. Christ scripture said affliction shall not rise up the second time. And this is the hand, yo. Sure. Right. This is Baruch 4, starting at verse 21. Be of good cheer, O my children. Cry unto Yahweh, and he shall deliver you from the power and hand of your of the enemies. Mm -hmm. For my hope is yeah, which. Um, you can just name all the so called white man, yo. He's a minimum enemy. The crack of police, they will shoot you down for no reason. The heat of my bitch and um, crackers. Is if we call him police for jail for no reason, because they, they want him basically to shoot them. Because you see the, the, the altercation when GM basically get um, of an interaction with police, you know, is going to want to result in them getting shoot down. Oh, yes, so so GM basically don't want like one park, a big a barbecue, some chicken. Ooh, they call him police. Want to go to um, Jake girl, which are in the Israelite so called black people, is in the city like water bottle. Who oh, call it the police? Just so any altercation can form and the problem start. And also, as I said, all these nations contribute to having our nation as docile and um, spiritually dead, as it is corrupting us with um, Christianity and Muslim and this all manner of madness. So. And it's spiritually dead, which will fill what? Um, Revelation, the eleventh chapter. And also, yes, nobody shall lie in the city, and they are saying for gifts. Is my son bread basically? And also, it also I, I, I should prophesy of um, Ezekiel. Can't, can't. Um, there is a yeah, the dry bones can't. are basically coming can't. back to life. Verse twenty-two says, "For my hope is in the everlasting, that He will save you, and the, and joy is come unto me from the Holy One, because of the mercy which shall soon come unto you from the everlasting." Our Savior. Mm -hmm. Verse 36, O Jerusalem, 
Look about thee toward the east, and behold the joy that cometh unto thee from God. Lo, thy sons come, when, the, when whom thou sendest us away, they come gathered from the east of, of the Slakel. Whom thou sentest away, they come gathered together from the east to the west by the word of the Holy One, Ooh. rejoicing in the glory of God. And we're in the rest right now, the rest of the hemisphere. And what we are gathered by is in the word, yo. Which is this called like Yahawashai, because Yahawashai is the word of God. And said, you only come in the poem of the book. Come. You just read of me. And you finish on the loop, so you can just come up to Isaiah. This Isaiah chapter 11, verse 12. And he shall set up an ensign for the nations, and shall assemble the outcasts of Israel, and gather together the dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth. This is Isaiah chapter 11, verse 12. And he shall set up an ensign for the nations, and shall assemble the outcasts of Israel. The outcasts of Israel. Go on, and what? And gather together the dispersed of Judah from the four corners of the earth. So you know that that, that go back to um the the, the, the the joining of the stick, right? And go back to the joining of the stick where um, um the kingdom of Israel or kingdom of Ephraim or kingdom of Joseph, right? They go by many names, and the kingdom of Judah, right? The the the, 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 the um, basically the tribes coming back together under under one ruler, yo. And, right, and what is happening when it's happening now, yeah, it's happening right now. And as you said before, it's happening what through the word of the every father. Because right. scripture tells the word that will basically go out as a flood to the four corners of the earth. That's why most uh, um, holy brothers are getting basically called by the word. You know, is it me? Can us get a piece of line up with that? Mm -hmm. This is Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 8. It says, In those days, the house of Judah shall walk with the house of Israel. And they shall come together out of the land of the north to the land that I have given for an inheritance unto your fathers. Yeah, See? it's time to inherit the promise, yo. Exactly. Because that is what Yahweh shall represent, yo. The, 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 it's basically the final, the Mosai Yahweh coming through on the agreement that he made with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, yo. Exactly. Right? And um, particularly to his friend Abraham, yo. Which is our forefather. Go on. Is it? So this is Isaiah chapter 11 verse 13. And the envy also of Ephraim shall depart, and the adversaries of Judah shall be cut off. Ephraim shall not envy Judah, and Judah shall not vex Ephraim. And we can start right now in um, the camps, yo. Okay. It's in the southern kingdom, which um, represent Ephraim, and um, the yes. so-called, yes sir, come to order. It's in the northern kingdom. Is in which represent um, Ephraim, which are Israel. Is in and, um, have the, the, the um, Judahites, which represent um, Judah, which are so called Negroes. Is in we join together you know, as one one nation. And so we're not in a conflict between each other. You know, we are one nation. And most say are bring us back because, for instance, like for instance, you know the Asians and um, um the the the, 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 we call it, um, the the people from the Democratic Republic. Oh yeah, so um, the so yeah. They don't, they don't agree, yo. Okay. Is it yeah. when when them join in a one camp, we are one. And even um, in America, the um, they always have, have conflict between the um the, the, the Latin gangs and the and the Negro so called um the, the Negro gangs, yo. Mm -hmm. Right? They always have camp um conflict between them. Hey, sometimes a Latino talk to a so called Negro and problem within the family. Yeah. Right? Because hey, they. Them, them just know them, they miss like that, yo. Yeah, because they're still outside of the world of them before them. But as you know, in contrast, when they come under the banner of the world, you see, um, I think um, my brother Michael Allah from the um, LA, LA, LA camp, he gave a testimony and he said, yo, um, you see, where the Ephraimites brother or the Northern Kingdom brother actually treat um, the, the, the Southern Kingdom they actually like more closely related, yo. You see, like I'm saying, oh, man, you come in at them house, you come in like a fear house, eh? so to speak. You see, man, you go in at the man house, man, say, relax yourself, man, go in at the drink some juice, chill, food up on the stove, a, 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 a fire up, man. You see, yeah. man? And, and, hey, it's all going to, it's all going back to, um, this is why we need the house right here, because right. when, it, when I see certain glimpses of these things on the past, I can't just only imagine what the kingdom is going to be like when all Israel, Come together as the unit that they are, and basically 
freaking havoc <laughs> these nations, yo. Mm -hmm. yeah, because, hey, we've been down a long time, yo. Mm -hmm. and, and, and that's why we have to say, oh, color like how much we have shy, right? Because, hey, we have to give thanks for your shy, right? That, that is why it's so important. And as you said, the Passover coming up, this is why it's not a, um, a, a solemn, it's supposed to be a solemn assembly based on the fact that we, um, we understood the price that was paid. Right, it, it did not just come like that, yo. Never, it wasn't, oh, you just get the truth, or oh, the no, just, just, just give up the truth at one point, yo. It, it came at a, um, at a cost, mm -hmm. and, and Yahweh Shai was willing to pay the cost. And scripture says, What about with the price? Right, like I represent Yahweh Shai being nailed upon the cross, he being tortured, literally. The currency of blood was paid, yo. Mm -hmm. Right, <clears throat> Is Isaiah chapter 11 verse 14 but they shall fly upon the shoulders of the Philistines toward the west they shall spoil them of the east together they shall lay their hand upon and, I, and who is the day yo? Judah and Israel mm -hmm. it, it show that look we're coming together to um to, to, to um to, to get the promise yo exactly right or take a kingdom we are going to have the we have, we have, we have the power which is how we have a king which is Yahweh Shai, right? And Yahweh Shai is going to put David upon the throne. Yeah, for a Lord Yahweh Shai and King David. Right. So the Lord Yahweh Shai and King David has the sale. Mm -hmm. So, hey, this is a very glorious time. This is a very wonderful time. And you can see that this is why we need to take heed to these prophecies, yo. At this point, it's like, anyone who wants to say the RFID chip is not the mark of the beast. For God. Do you? <laughs> Any man who wants to claim say the names of your house wash and your shine matter. Fine. Because yeah. this is the time when the truth shall prevail. So yeah. what let, let us see. Hey, the sure so we know what they are being out. Initially they are in there ten people say you're the criminal. I'm sure that come in man. Okay. Yeah, all the hell is about to break loose about the precept one there. Is it me? Um this is Revelation chapter twenty two verse eleven. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. Fine. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. Fine. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. Fine. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me, to give every man a pardon as his work shall be. Exactly. And that is the hour shall Exactly. And as I was saying, when, when, I'm sure it's when no one close to completion of building a heart. Never had to business about a nigga when I believe. Right. After I've done for so much years, I build this shit, yo. Well, you see? If you imagine I'm the last love left for Neil, I'm be like, well, well. <laughs> 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 and all the staffers in there look at it hey, like this nigga hey. is crazy, right? <laughs> when, when the first chaparin <laughs> uh, when the first chaparin hit the style, I know it's like I hit the center star, but I told you. <laughs> isn't it? That, that, that was it. Tell all the elect, all who believe, say, oh, look here, this shit is going down right now. Come inside the law. And even though the, the scripture never mentioned it, they hey, believe. Yeah. People were beating on that door, yo. Yeah, man, what reason, man? People was there beating that door. The scripture might never say it, but, the, hey, one thing, you know. I think um, the scripture, they say an angel shut the, shut the, shut, shut, shut the door. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So, it? the thing about it is, you see, when, this is how people naturally be like, somebody I tell us something from 19 or when, and, you know,